Hey, Alexis Love Beauties. Oh, girl, my eye itch. <laughs> girl, my eye start itching. Um, I just wanted to have a freestyle course, and I just wanted to talk to us. Like, to be real, I think it's so much jealousy going on between women, and I think we just need to chill. Like, when you look at another woman... I want to say it's okay if you look at her as far as inspiration or you might like some type of strength that she have. But I think if we stop being so jealous, then we'll be able to find real friends. And instead of being jealous, whatever it is that we feel like we looking at somebody else at, if we don't have so much pride, then maybe it's just okay to act. So if you always looking at a female, like another female, like, oh, she thinks she all that. Maybe you need to think you all of that. Like, maybe you need to try and be her friend and ask her, like, where did she get the confidence from? At the end of the day, we really just need self-love. Like, we have to start there. Like, women have been through so much, and I don't know about single um, mothers because I'm not a mother yet, but I can't imagine. But we need to, we really just need to focus on loving ourselves. Like, I think we get so caught up in wanting a man to do this and wanting a man to do that, and then we got to be real. Our expectations is up here and then we all the way down here. Like, we expected somebody else to do so much. And we're not even trying to meet them halfway or do nothing. Like, to be real, it's a lot of lazy women. Like, for real, like, women don't pray no more. Women don't cook no more. Don't clean no more. And we got to get ourselves back together. Like, it's not about no hair, about no nails, about no who can twerk the most and do all of that. It's is mental like we gotta get our mental state of mind in check because it don't make no sense so i think i encourage us to read this book okay i want us to all get a copy of this woman of excellence book by dolores l kendrick i got mine from a bookstore you can check and see if they got it on amazon or just any type of self-help books because we go around so much just covering up our heart and moving to this relationship that relationship we have to begin to express ourselves the reason why i love this book is because it's a small book and also in here she gives you like everything that you need to know to be a woman of excellence like she teaches us um etiquette how to speak how to dress and let's talk about dress code like we do have to do better with our dress code because if a dude look at us and we always dressing crazy we can't get mad if they don't have respect for us or if they talking to somebody else saying oh like we can't be on that we just have to learn how to carry ourselves more appropriately and when it comes to men if you have a relationship i say you know Get whatever type of help you may need like therapy or self-help books to help you become the woman that you need to become but if you're not in a relationship or even if you're in a relationship i want to say this ladies and be real like for real stop cheating stop cheating stop messing around and stop talking to these men crazy like y'all know that our, our mouth is so powerful like we can and stop that whole vagina rule the world stuff don't nobody rule the world but god let's be real like if you're gonna keep on thinking that you rule the world and you're doing this and doing that then you got the wrong idea now i'm gonna say it first because we have so much power that we're using it in a bad way we're using it to seduce god's man and he's mad about that and i'm gonna link that video down below because we need to repent like women we try so hard to ignore all of the pain that we going through and then it come out in other ways like i said jealousy is number one like that is number one amongst women like stop hating on that girl like if she got something on that's cute just tell her that it's cute we will do so much better if we link up and do business together and stop hating on each other worrying about how another female body look you don't even know how your body look because you ain't never even tried to lose weight you ain't never even 
you you never even seen yourself you never even got to enjoy yourself now let's talk about sex we just need to stop having sex in general like let's be real all of the sex whether it's with condom or not whatever like I, we need a breakdown there like we re need a real breakdown there we need the detox down there and that's why some females be scared because they be like oh like i can't go without deodorant like i can't just wash with water sometimes or do this and do that oh that's nasty this nasty and stop looking at everything like it's nasty and begin to be mature because you are what you eat so if you just turning up drinking smoking eating just crazy all the time then that's what you you get what you get you get what you put in so we need to start putting more healthier things in our bodies and we need to start taking breaks if you have a man that's your man make sure he belongs to you sis because we don't got time for that other stuff then you need to communicate with him or if you have a boyfriend someone that's a potential husband we need to start communicating with them and letting them know like hey I need to take a break like I can't indulge in you know we can't do that because I need to cleanse down there I'm gonna come back on a later day and give us a list of healthy foods to eat because we require prebiotics probiotics vitamins and minerals like we require so much because we have so many different body parts like we have a womb down here imagine you having a child in there and they're living uncomfortable because of something that you're doing it's not fair and it's selfish another thing not to be rude this is just a self-love video and it's just it's just me it's just alexis love and but i think we need to stop have like it's like i've seen so many females talk about abortions as if it's just some type of game like as if it's just something that just to do for fun if we stop playing these games, especially these sex games, then we wouldn't have to worry about doing those things. You can't keep constantly doing those things and then thinking that you're going to live a healthy and comfortable life because you're not. Like, I know things happen, but own up and take care of your responsibility. You can't allow a child to suffer because you're not with the father. And another thing, if you're are if you are a baby mother, then you know no disrespect at all. But a lot of men to see his kids <laughs> if he not doing nothing crazy or he not acting crazy or nothing like that. If you have to put him on child support, all that's fine and dandy. But please don't be acting petty, especially if you have a man that's trying to be a man or trying to do the best that he can do. Like, don't be acting crazy and selfish like that because i know so many women they'll do stuff on purpose just to get to the man we have to stop getting to these men on purpose like we have to stop because at the end of the day we know that we need them like at some point in our life we have to just cut this whole phase like we can't be 50 60 still out here just running around like being busy bodies like just being heathens like just keep on being hoarse like let's be real like we don't have to tell everybody what it is we do or we don't have to tell everybody like how we come in and what you know what we looking like and what we plan on doing or none of that stuff we need to begin to keep things private like our friends don't have to know everything um the only people or person that i feel like should know everything is god just flat out period now we okay let's talk about men when we talk about a man we want a man to do this a man to do that we don't even know what a real man is <laughs> We don't even know what we really ex expecting for real. If you're a woman and you don't want to get married, everybody don't want to get married. Just sit down with yourself and figure out what you want. Don't do dangerous things like trying to mess around with somebody else, man, or do this and get back at her and seek revenge. Revenge is, is the Lord's. Like females got to calm down on trying to seek revenge and do all of that stuff. If you keep on putting out negative, that's all you're going to get. If you are a female and you feel like, oh man, why well, can't never get no relationship? I can't do this. I can't do that. You have to look at yourself. Like we have to start taking accountability. Let's stop blaming the men. Let's stop blaming our friend and be comfortable with yourself. If you're somebody and you're going into a journey like I am, go into your journey, sis. Just flat out, period. Like being a natural beauty is you just loving yourself just flat out here you don't need any extra curricular activity to make you look and feel cute you know some girls can't even live without eyelashes like girl like i can't even go like i don't even got no lashes on. i don't even know what you look like for real like begin to love yourself quit looking at other women 
you know something crazy that I be hearing? Like I heard Jada say it, uh, her Asian doll say it, like, girl, I need me. Like if he ain't got no bodies, like I don't want him. Like we need to stop thinking so ignorant. We need to stop thinking so ignorant. Like that's just it's just stupid to me like i hate hearing it like they it, it's females out here with that mentality like we need to start thinking wise like why would you want somebody that is dangerous like that like we are women we deserve men to protect us but he don't have to have all of that crazy stuff going on just flat out period honestly i'm just be real with y'all i really don't even know what to say to women for real um man it's it, because it's just so much and I think the number one thing we suffer with is like self-confidence and jealousy and I just feel like man it is it's personal work it's personal work that needs to be done we want this we want that but we ain't trying to put no work in if you're a woman and you probably want to talk how to cook or clean just the just the basic necessities let's just be real because i've known people that was jealous of another woman just simply because she had the basic necessities like good hygiene cooking cleaning just the basic necessity now we're gonna be real if you were not taught those things or you may have slacked on those things do not slack on those things whether you're by yourself and especially if you have no man you want to just continue to do womanly things like cooking cleaning and don't feel discouraged if you feel like you don't know how to do something you know how to do it you just might have to get some research and do something else so we have to begin to be on the level that we want if we want a man to have money we gotta have money if we want a man to respect us we gotta respect us too like we be asking for stuff that we ain't gonna even be able to handle for real like say god gave you that husband right you won't even know how to keep him because you're talking crazy like we gotta stop talking so crazy like ain't nobody always trying to comfort no men and take up for them and have a back like they just so innocent because everybody has their own things that they're dealing with but let's be real like we know we are so much powerful because we because we are we have that seducing spirit and we need to stop that stuff like for real to be real we need to stop seducing to get what we want like seriously stop flaunting the hair and the nails and the all of that stuff just to get what you want get it for yourself too it'll be so much better if you have it and then you have a man that has it as well that's just a powerful relationship when it comes to relationship goals, I know we looking like relationship goals, relationship goals. That is so fake. It's so unrealistic. Come up with your own goals on what you want, what you say love is, what you think love is, because it's not going to be like the next woman. Like, be careful of the women that you hang around. If you hanging around a whole bunch of women, that's I don't care if you're a young lady or older lady. If people are immature or they throwing off like jealous signs, like take it and just drop the whole friendship at the end of the day i just feel like we lack like a lot of self-love and we got high expectations but we don't want to put no work in and then you know there's been like a lot of trauma and a lot of abuse in these relationships and i just feel like we have to heal and we have to take accountability for ourselves because I feel like a lot of the times, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful at all, at all, but I feel like we, we're like victims. We never want to be nobody's victim because with a mentality like that, just hear me out, with a, men, with a victim mentality, we'll never get far. We're always going to be stagnant because we're always going to feel like somebody owe us something. Don't nobody owe us anything. Whatever you want, you can ask God for that and you can get it. The, the the first man that we're supposed to have in our life is God, right? I'm going to have like a little transparent moment with you because we're looking at men. Well, we need to be looking towards God. Now, God is the ultimate provider and he's going to send you a man that is able to provide for you on the level that you're supposed to be provided for and so instead of us like keep on looking for men like we got a problem doing that like we want to look for men we want to pursue men that's not what we're supposed to be doing and then before i get into that another thing like this whole feminine and masculine thing i think 
I think we're a little mixed up about what that is. I think sometimes we can look at another woman and because she might have like Chanel and Louis and 30 inches of hair and her nails is always did and her makeup always on fleek that we think that, oh, okay, like she feminine and really she not. I think being feminine is a characteristic. It's an attitude that you carry. You could be broke and you not have nothing and you can walk in a room and have so much confidence and not think that's being feminine. Versus somebody that look like that and got all that and they not really like that for real So we really just need to stop comparing ourselves. We got a problem with comparing ourselves like jealousy Comparison and confidence and at the end of the day, that's all work that we have to do We have to put that work in because we have not always been that woman I don't try and throw to the side of the pain and the things that we've been through but it's about to be a new year and i feel like we need to set goals for ourselves to begin to love ourselves like gift ourselves to treat ourselves like we don't know how a man's supposed to treat us because we don't know how we supposed to treat ourselves be we need to be nice to ourselves like i said if you're a woman and you're feel confident in yourself like i'm confident in myself like i can do whatever i want to do like i know how to do my hair I know how to do my makeup. I know how to do lashes and all that. Eyebrows and all of that. And be on fleek. But I done did that my whole life. And that's just not me. Like, that's just not me. So, this is what I'm doing. Period. Headbands, you know what I'm saying? This is my first time wearing these earrings. I bought these from Walmart. And they like some little hoop earrings. And I was like, let me try something else. And these are my favorite earrings. And I love these earrings. Then this is my Alexis Love Beauty necklace. Like... I got this necklace. I never even like gold. So I just stepped out and I was like, oh, let me do something else. Um, I messed my nails up wearing like press-ons a lot. So I've been letting them rest. Take a break. It is okay to take a break. Like you don't have to get all the surgeries. You don't have to do all of that because that stuff causes health problems. Take a break. It is okay to take a break from having sex. Like, take a break from that stuff. Clear your mind. Clear your mind because you need it. You deserve it. Another thing, um, when we talk about, like, cleaning and detoxing, we do need to eat. Like, stop being afraid of eating the things that you're scared going to make your body stink and all of that stuff because that's immature thinking. Onions, garlic, spices, and herbs – those are the things that detox your body those are the things that kill viruses in your body like ginger and so i know i don't have female friends they were scared the girl i'm not about to eat no onions because that's gonna make me stink stop being afraid of yourself like when you're going through a detoxing period you shouldn't just stink anyway if you have any type of problems then we know that we need to go get checked out regularly anyway we need to go to an OBGYN. we just need to make sure we're good all the time anyway but stop being afraid of fruit stop being afraid of breaks take a break on the nails like you don't even know what you look like no more you don't know what you look like without the lashes you don't know what you look like without the hair like you just keep going and going trying to live up to society and as we can see while we're trying to live up to men expectations that their expectations are all over the place don't worry about what somebody else expecting from you. What do you want for yourself? Like, stop hating on them other females. Start what you want to start. And don't think scarcity. Don't think like, oh, she already got an eyelash business, so I don't want her eyelash business. Your eyelash is going to be different than hers. Like, stop being like that and link up with her. Hey, sis, how did you start your eyelash business? Like, I think we should collab. Like, stop being like that. When it comes to men... The first man that the first man that we need to put in our life is God. Just flat out period because when you have a relationship with him, he's going to humble you. <laughs> That's what we need. We need to be humbled, right? Because we just got these filthy mouths. We talking all the time, all the time. And when I read, we don't even supposed to be talking so much. And then we can't keep a man or when we have one, we just talking to him so crazy. We, it's, there's things we don't have to do. We don't have to do all of that. We don't have to keep running our mouth all the time, be little with people. And if you're out there fighting, stop fighting. Like, that is kind of my head. Like, stop fighting, sis. Like, that's not cute. That's not cute at all. Like, it's okay to be a lady. Like, I know it's like a lot of all this gangster stuff in our era. Like, girls doing this, girl doing that. It's okay to be a lady. 
like it is like it's okay to be nice it's okay to be gentle like ain't nobody playing with you like that like you already know who you is on the inside like if you hanging with females and they still rough and y'all almost 30 or whatever it don't even matter if you young like cut them off cut them off at the end of the day don't nobody got you like you got you ain't nobody gonna have your back or none of that and then start with that whole mentality or i gotta be a ride or die don't die for nobody <laughs> don't really ride with nobody because don't nobody got your back like that get you you know become the woman that you want to become so you can attract the man that you want to attract and how you do that it's a process right and everybody has their own journey and their own process I, the first steps is i say seek professional help because we want to just keep on going covering up this broken heart but we're breaking more people along the way and if we have children then we have to understand that they're looking up to us they see all of these things just like we did when we was younger and you don't want your children to hold on Th this is what i think happens when we're children we see so much and we go through teen and we go through so much stuff and then we just keep on going to the going again we grow and then now we have this this life that we live in that we don't even like for real we don't even understand how we got here you can always change and if you have children you don't want them to grow up like that like you like i know people that have children they always want the children to live better well it starts with us like we're their example like the next generation it look it look like it's gonna be crazy out here but we still got time to fix ourselves when it comes to a man the first man should be God in our life because he's going to humble us. He's going to have us to be quiet when we need to be quiet. He's going to show us who we really are. Some people do, you know, some people are meant to wear hair and things like that, whatever. And then some of us are not like we're meant to be who we are, right? Allow God to show you who you really are show you what you're really supposed to be doing and then don't look at no other woman and be jealous of her y'all have two different lives two different lifestyles period don't be afraid to try new things which is yourself try yourself tell yourself beautiful things in the mirror like slow down we be going so much we be going so fast look in the mirror just look in the mirror and be nice to yourself be nice to yourself Having a relationship with God will allow you to have a good relationship with a man, your man, right? Um, so, God, God is going to take care of you, right? I know we're, we're anxious. Like, women, we're always anxious for something and we can't chill out. To be real with you, the beginning of 2022, January to 2022... And it's about to be January 2023. I have not worked. I worked three different jobs and I stayed at all of them for a month. I was fired from all of those jobs and I'm still living a healthy and peaceful life. Um, I have not taken out any loans because I can't get any right now. <laughs> um, I have not asked anybody for a quarter or dime, nothing on my rent. Okay, um, I'm currently a single woman. The only man that's been taking care of me is God. And that's period. And I'm already taken care of for the month of January. And all I simply do is communicate with him. Like I'm not even capping to you. That's it. That's the man. That's the head of my household. That's the man that take care of my household. Like you probably like this girl was crazy. Like it's a spiritual relationship. Like I can't see him right but i know i'm taken care of because that's the only man i've been communicating with when i say man and i say god because god was a man before like i said on this channel oh we coming in the blood of jesus we speak about jesus so i believe that jesus is god right he's the son of god and i'll tell you why in a later video why i believe it's the same person and it, he's a spirit right he was a man he's back to the spirit but that is the only man that has been taking care of me for a whole year Girl, I had I had thought about that the other day and I just was like, dang, like I haven't had no problems. I haven't called none of my male friends and asked them like, hey, can you help me pay this rent? I haven't did nothing inappropriate. Like, hey, I'm about to go out here and, you know, throw that thing back for a few couple of little hundred. I haven't did nothing. 
All I've been doing is reading my book. The second time I'm almost done with it and I want to read it again. All I've been doing is reading my Bible, taking notes, praying. And I've been getting humbled. Like, okay. Everything is a process. Everything is a journey. And like I said, when it comes to a man, because we all seek love, like we know we supposed to have it. When it comes to a man, I say we put put God first. Put God first. Get a relationship with him first. We can write all the lists that we want to write. I done wrote two, and I done met them two different people in real life. And it just wasn't the it just wasn't the men. It wasn't the season. And so that is true. When you write up, you know, we hear like, what was Sierra prayer? You don't want Sierra prayer. You want your prayer. When you write that list, it will come to pass. So just be careful about what you write. Me, I'm not making a list. Um, I would encourage us to be wise with trying to make a list. Because whatever you write, it will come to pass. It don't matter when. And you want to make sure it's, it's exactly what you want. Find out what you want. And I feel like the only way to know what you want is to get in a relationship with God. And he's going to show you what you want. So you might think you want somebody that's rich and you will write that like I want a rich man and then you don't you're not specific enough to where you get the rich man and it's some whole other bull crap that come with him. So I say lead a relationship. It's okay to like simply speak on it. Like, you know, I want a husband. It but but I would say be careful um with going into depth about things. And I would say get a relationship with God first. He's going to tell you what you want. You want to have all these run-ins. Like, dang, is this him? Dang, is it like, why I keep on getting played? I got a boyfriend here, boyfriend there. Why I seem like he just want to keep on messing with me? He really don't want to be my man. God will tell you who your man is. And it's going to take some time because he has to correct you. Allow God. You have to. It's a choice. You have to allow God to correct you. Like, you ain't about to be talking to God all crazy. If God give you a good man and you start talking to him all crazy, you're going to lose him, right? So when you're in this relationship with God, he's going to humble you so you can learn, okay, to, to just be kind. Like, we so rough. We so rowdy. We done been through so much. We had to be our own man. You know what I'm saying? We had to fend for ourselves, take out our own trash, and we probably still currently is, but allow God to be that allow God to be that man in your life I'm telling you like allow God to be that first man in your life like a lot of us we missing our fathers and stuff like that didn't have the father figure so we don't even know what to allow God to be your father allow God to be the head of you know what I always wonder when people be like God is the head of my life I don't I don't know what everybody mean they said but now I know what it mean when I say it like, he literally the head of my life. Like, you done did everything for me. I ain't asked nobody for nothing. Like, no money, no food, no nothing. And it's about to be a whole nother year. This year was so quick. Allow God to be the man in your life. So now, whenever, I don't put no date on it. Stop being anxious. That's something I personally found out about myself. When you get with yourself and you get with God, you're going to learn stuff about yourself. And it's going to hurt your feelings. But, oh, well, be hurt now so you can live later, you know. So, allow you have to allow God to come in. And, it's, it's man, I'm telling you, it's a process. But it's going to be worth it at the end. On a serious note, stop looking at other women being jealous of them because you don't know what they're going through. Go through your own journey, your own process. Write the vision to make it plain. What do you want to do? Like when people say you have to go back to like that child, like there was something that we all wanted to do. You wanted to either be a hairstylist. You either wanted to, girl, you probably want to go to the army. Whatever it is that you wanted to do. You are living through an identity crisis. You're living out someone else's life that's probably not even yours for real. You're living an identity that's not even yours. I was talking to somebody and that's what I heard. God told me that. He told me identity theft. And I was like, what? I wasn't living how I was supposed to. Like me trying to, and like I said, it's something that I do. Like, girl, I could wet my hair like what is nothing. But he was telling me then, like, that's not, that's not really who you are. And I've been doing that since I was like 13. He was telling me identity theft. 
Like your identity has been stolen. Like you're not this this made up girl. Like that's not who you are. And so I'm cutting stuff off and I'm leaving, girl. Like period. Like I feel good. I look good. My skin is good. Like makeup and all that. That's not me. So you know I push I push natural beauty. Like and everything a process it takes some time girl i thought about some braids the other day i was like i still do want some twist things but now i want my own hair on my own hair period like i said everybody's journey gonna be different and i don't judge nobody whatever they going through it, girl you ain't got the way you're real you can wear a weave if you want to but that's not me though so i'm not gonna look at you and be jealous like oh my god like she got her hair done i can get my hair done too like we gotta stop looking at people like that that's what I have to say for us. I think th those are our problems. Confidence, men, and being jealous. For real. And then we want all of this stuff, but we can't even do nothing for real. Like, we just talking crazy, and we just feel so entitled because we a woman. Like, if I'm walking somewhere and a dude... I be mad, low-key. If, if, if a dude see me coming here and hold the door, I be mad, but now I'm starting to get out of that. Cause I don't even know that man. Like he, I can't expect that from him. Just cause it's a man figure down me, he a real man for real. So if he don't hold the door, I can't be mad and turn up on him. Like we gotta stop turning up like that. We gotta stop turning up like that. It's not cute. And then we wonder why, like we getting played. Like, low key we be playing ourselves. We be playing ourselves. Like I love this book. Like I'm pushing this book so much. <laughs> I'm pushing this book so much because I love this book. Like. She teaches like about etiquette and how to eat and okay let me see if I remember let me see if I remember because I read it last night so it was something about like eating like dinner etiquette and she was like your dinner goes on the left and your drink goes on the right and how you will eat you'll always remember it by on the outside in so if the setup is a fork a knife and a spoon then you'll eat from the outside in so you'll take your fork and then you'll eat whatever you need with the fork if you need the spoon then you'll take whatever you need from the spoon and when you need a drink you'll drink that from the right side i don't know how you set the dinner table up just yet i think i think it's like a fork knife spoon but just you know things like that that's why i love this book she teaches you about things like that she teaches us about like hygiene like if you hear another woman speaking about hygiene don't take it personal because a lot of the time we haven't even really been taught how to wipe or do things like that like i know we probably care like um you supposed to wipe from the front to the back well i had a hard time with that and i kept on getting yeast infections so i got i had to learn another way to wipe like don't judge people because when they come out to say something like i know when b simone says something like um she can only shower or she said something like she shower like once a week or something like that so when people start to be personal then that's some people get the one to judge them or talk about them but you don't know how that woman hygiene is maybe if she wash up every single day seven days a week maybe she'll be prone to more yeast infection or something like that like we be so quick to judge somebody else but you doing that because you're not gonna talk because you ain't gonna tell your own business and then if you're a female and you have friends, don't be telling nobody business. Whether they're your friends right now or not, keep this. Whatever you know about somebody, just keep that in your heart. Like, keep that in your heart. Don't be out here exposing people because you don't like them no more. You're trying to seek revenge on her because whatever is done in the dark going to come to the light. Stop being so messy like that. Because you have to understand, whatever you put in, you get back. So if you still messing with that girl boyfriend and you think don't nobody know, God knows, stop doing that. Like, you deserve more than that. You're not no side chick. You're not no girlfriend. And you're not just no baby mama. Figure out who you want to be. Like, figure out who you want to be. But I say all that side stuff, we leave that alone in general. Like, leave that alone in general. I encourage us to be intelligent young women and to love ourselves like excuse me sis that but that word has it was getting so thrown around like this year last year oh excuse me babe, my bad um excuse me and you know stuff like that is still okay to to say and do like excuse me like girls just be so nasty you now they be burping and stuff mouth all open just doing all types of stuff like it's okay to <clears throat> excuse me my bad stuff like that like stop being so like rule like that but when this term self-love came out it seemed like it was just so just a word just getting lingered around right and it's not just a word like it's something real it's a real thing like 
you have to be nice to yourself you're expecting so much from other people but you're expecting that because you can't give it to yourself imagine if you buy yourself flowers all the time when a man buy you flowers it's gonna be nothing see that's what being equally yoked is because i know it was a couple of times like i was happy if one of my guy friends had bought me something because i probably never had and it was small and it was basic if i was doing that for myself i wouldn't be so geeked up about some flowers something small and then you're not knowing your value and your worth so he like dang that's all i ever gotta get her is some flowers no you got to get me a house <laughs> You got to get me some wisdom. Like you got to take me out and stuff like that. But they want they're not gonna treat you like that because you don't treat you like that. You don't have no house. So he not about to buy you no house. You don't have no you like what? Like no. We expect so much from other people, but we gotta start expecting that from ourselves. Like stop like if you want compliments and you want love, you have to give that out and you'll get it back. You have time to still heal. Like seriously. When God talk about us repenting. He's so upset with us. Because we think that we're so slick. We think that we're doing so much behind the scenes. Like cheating. Being sneaky. Using these dudes for their money. Talking about them behind their back. Sleeping with all their friends. Just doing all this weird stuff. We think that we being slick. And God looking like. Mm. She don't even know that on a spiritual level. Like she's soulless. Like she don't know that after this life She have something else to account for God wants us to repent What repents mean is to turn away from Like the sin on this earth is not good Like when you look at some people You can tell that they're probably like 20 But they look like they're 60 And the people that 60 They look like they're 20 Like the older people are outliving the younger people And that don't make no sense like all of the turning up and the dancing and the exploitation keep that in private if you want to be a stripper keep that in your home like learn them tricks and tactics for your man period seriously if you want to wear lingerie and you want somebody to see that you see that in the mirror like i know we got a problem with sending like news and stuff like that girl i had problems too back in the day you know when them folks try to bring them pictures up we're gonna rebuke that in the name of jesus and i can expose myself on anybody to do that i can speak on my own behalf because that's how people try and be girl they're gonna try and wait till later on try and bring something up and you know it's nothing but the devil and we're confident now see account for stuff now be accountable for yourself now like yup i did that and you don't gotta tell nobody tell god like yup lord i just want to say that um Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to repent for my sin and my action. Because, baby, now I'm trying to get on the right path. And them people got pictures out there. Them people got some videos out there. And um, I need you to just remove the hand of the enemy. I don't need that stuff to never release. Just period. Like, take accountability for yourself. Because some stuff you knew what you was doing. And then some stuff you did not know what you was doing. But never be nobody's victim, though. With the victim mentality, it's never going to end. You're always going to feel like somebody owe you something. Man, it's, it's a change. Like, at the end of the day, we just got to change. As women, we have to stop expecting so much from men that we're not even giving ourselves. Like I said, if you want to wear some lingerie, you want somebody to see you, you'll see you. You want to lose weight, you want to see what you really look like, your cheekbones coming out, skin looking good, invest in that. Like, let's stop investing in breasts that we already got, boobs that we already got. And then let's go invest in the gym or working out or eating a little better, doing something a little different, and then watch them perk up they self. And then watch our butts grow bigger and self. We got to be patient and be anxious for nothing. Do things for yourself. Like, you don't always got to go turn up over dual house when you fresh off your period or nothing like that. Like, say that for you. Like, be, just feel good in your moment. We got to learn how to feel good with ourselves. Like, I know we be wanting to share so much because we, we feel like that because that's, that's just our nature. But we sharing so much. We giving so much to people that don't even deserve it. And everything ain't always about no man neither. That goes for family and friends too and even children. If you got children of their, and, and, and their age and they acting crazy, lead them people along too. Every man has their own journey. I just want us, I pray for us that we just begin to work on ourselves. That's what self-love is, just working on yourself. What do you see for yourself? Like, 
you don't have to tell your business to everybody and stuff like that like if you got a trusted few then cool if you don't i always recommend seeking a therapist another thing let's make sure we're going to the doctor right whether we're doing something or not right i i say we don't do nothing i say we save our bodies for a good man period let's save our womb let's save ourselves the trouble of any type of plague just seriously we see so much so many people are getting exposed there's so much stuff coming to the light i say we just hold off on that and let's just take care of ourselves let's take care of our mental state girl you know we be a little messed up in the head let's take care of our mental state and we need help with that so i say seek a therapist seek seek ye first the kingdom of god and all the desires of your heart if they align with the desires of god heart it shall come to pass let's make sure we're going to the doctor still making sure that our bodies is good getting our breast exams making sure that there's no cancer let's start treating ourselves to massages and roses and edible arrangements and i know we're probably not used to doing it because we used to always turn it up with people but this year let's do something different like let's go to the movies by ourselves let's go get our nails done by ourselves like i know we always with our friends and stuff but being around people all the time you take on their identity like it's so many different spirits around you you take on all their identities like you're picking up different stuff from different people you don't we don't be knowing who we are for real like let's let's just just peace just peace it's so much going on out here we're so blessed in this nation like seriously let's just seek peace and we get that from god like we need we need god like we can't do nothing without god that's just some period we can't do it that's why we feel like we got to do other stuff because we don't know where we're just so lost we don't have to be lost like we don't have to live this life like if you're messing with somebody else's man leave him alone leave him alone if you have a boyfriend and he's probably been you know not saying anything and the relationship ain't all that good and it's up and down check on your man sis because see men don't feel like they are important they just feel like they have to keep doing and doing and doing and doing. Check on him and let him know he's human. Especially if he's taking care of you. And if he's not taking care of you, you really shouldn't mess with him. If he's taking care of you like he should be, buy that man some flowers, man. Like, take that man out on a date. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. As long as he's not trying to be acting like you his sugar mama or nothing. But if you have a real genuine man, please treat that man. Like, babe, I got you a massage today because see they feel like they don't need and they do they do men deserve as well like stop using him like he just some type of workaholic and some type of sex toy and some type of plumber and just fixing stuff all the time allow that man to rest let that man go with his friends and don't be tripping on him why are you coming back at 10 you said you was coming back at 9 like you don't know if that man probably went to the store like sometimes he be tripping and then that man had a whole gift in the car like dang like and then they be like oh man she nag all the time like communication ask him you have to still check in like hey babe like i just wanted to make sure check in every month shoot every day just check in like hey babe i just wanted to make sure like we was good like is there anything that you know maybe i could improve or anything like that like stop being stubborn because if you got a good man you already know you want him for real like and don't mess with nobody else man because just like somebody mess with your man girl you gonna want to throw hands like don't do that and if you're single just enjoy your singleness like seriously and even in a relationship still so still take care of yourself still self-love and you know change up to a certain extent being positive don't let nobody change you because they can't right don't leave it to nobody at expectations but you know always make sure that you're doing for yourself even in a relationship if you went into that relationship you always had your hair done always keep your hair done but if you want to break and that man don't understand you want no break i don't know if that's him sis because the thing is too men's expectations be unrealistic they feel like if they meet you with all of that stuff all of that stuff and if something happened oh my god now she a bum no make sure that that man really got your back sis period and then it's okay to take breaks so tell him like babe i didn't you know I don't think I'm going to skip the hair salon this time. Because my hair needs to breathe. I'm always. And make sure you breathe, sis. 
like the tight clothes, the thongs, and all that stuff. Like, we need to breathe. We need to take care of ourselves. Y'all probably like this girl fooling. I'm serious, though. Like, for real. Like, in conclusion, let's seek some wisdom. I don't care what book you read. Books is way better than the news. Books is way better than looking at somebody else's life, talking about goals, and you don't have your own. In conclusion, I want us to, the first, the first man we need in our life is God. Let's come back to God. And I'm going to tell you who I promote on this platform, Jesus Christ. So, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I wanted to repent for my sins and I need help that I do not go into temptation. I need you to cut these people off from me, get rid of these females that's jealous like anybody in my circle and I don't want to return back in the name of Jesus. Get that relationship back with the first man that you needed with. Cause that you're talking to a spirit. You're talking to a man that made all men. Like that's the first man that we need. He gonna get the man in, in order. Nobody else is going to change those men but God. I say we get a relationship with God and see how I really feel to be taken care of. And then I say we take care of ourselves. Like just, I don't, girl, five, ten dollars. I know we got bills. I know we got babies. Five, ten dollars, it don't matter. Do it by yourself. Like you always going with the girls turning up. Hey, do it by yourself. Like let's just do it. Like this time I just want to go get my nails done. If she can't understand that, she don't got her own life neither. Because she always, girl, we got to do what we got to do. It is fine to always have somebody to do stuff with. And if you a fr if you got friends, be a good friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, always check on your friend. Check on your female friends, man. Make sure your friend is doing good. Like, don't be persuading her to do no bad stuff. That's going to get y'all in trouble at the end of the day. And like I said, it is okay to start doing stuff by yourself, too. You know, you had your downtime and stuff. And it is okay, like a healthy balance. That's all we need is a healthy balance. Period. You don't want your friends to feel like that y'all not friends no more because of this, because of that. Just a healthy balance. In any relationship, a healthy balance. And then, you know, like I said, let's stop being afraid to do different things like eat onions and garlic and stuff that kill disease and yeast and bacteria. Because, oh my God, I don't want to stink. That is so immature. Well, let's begin to eat a little better and I'll come back and give us a list of vitamins and, you know, fruits and stuff that we can eat. But like, seriously... For us, I overall just recommend that we focus on ourselves. We focus on ourselves, And if we want a good man, we can have a good man. If we want to make a list, we can make a list. But take that list to God and wait on it, okay? And I say we get in a relationship with the first man that knows all men. Let's ask God to remove anybody in our life that does not belong. Let's write our vision and make it plain. Like, what are we supposed to be doing? Like, go back to your dreams and your goals and conquer them this year. Girl, I got nothing else to say to us. I love you. Mwah.